with Race Pack, and I'm here with another uh, quick in the field uh, tech tip for you. So uh, I get a lot of questions when I'm at the racetrack saying, uh, hey, I downloaded my run, but I don't see my run. And uh, so I thought I'd uh, show you guys how to set the zero point on your run so that way you can actually be looking at your run instead of just the car idling. So what I've done is I've pulled up a run for my car, and uh, basically a lot of times people, I walk over to their pit and they say, all, all I see is the car idling. Well, what happens is, is you have to scale the run you're recording, your V300 can run from you know, zero seconds to 200 seconds, which is up to three and a half minutes, and you only want the eight seconds or the nine seconds, whatever the time allotted may be. Well, in my case, I run my recorder off of the engine RPM on the burnout, so once it sees a certain value, it's going to start recording. So sometimes you get the car backing up, etc. So what you're gonna wanna do after you download a run, if you're doing this, is you can do one of two ways. You can click these arrow buttons and shift everything to the right, and you can click it a bunch of times until you move over here, and then see, there's my run. But what I want to do is I want to set my zero point so that way the numbers along the bottom will match up with what's on my time slip. So from there, after you kind of get it remotely in the correct place, what I like to do is I like to pull up the acceleration g-force meter, and then uh, right where the car starts to take off, right there and then I like to set my zero point at that point because that's the first movement of the car. So after I click my, my cursor right on to that point where I want to set the zero point, I come over here to the toolbar and I select uh, the little green button with the T in it which stands for set start time. After you click that, it's going to tell you that you're confirming to do that. If you click OK, what it'll do is it'll shift everything over to where Right when you took off is zero seconds, and you know, however you have the screen resolution, mine happens to be to 10 seconds. So zero to 10 seconds is on my run. So now every time I open up this run, it will go straight to this, and then I can look whatever I, you know, whatever I want to do. So um, my stop RPM, you know, 4200, whatever it may be if I want it. But if you want to look at something prior to your zero point, you can just click these shift and, and scroll back. But uh, with the zero point already done, the other cool feature on the toolbar is this the zero with the squiggly lines and the X. If you click back to that, which is the user scale, it'll take me back right to my zero pointed run. So something to keep in mind uh, when you guys are out here in the field and you get a little confused. It's really simple as far as uh, using our little quick uh, toolbar features there. So for more information, be sure to log on to racepack.com and check us out. <laughs>